Hello, my Leo friends. Elsie here to do your reading for the week ahead. And we are going to start with some angel answer cards. So Leo, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter. Here we go. Let's get some energy, overall energy for your reading. Tell us about the energy about this reading, please. Tell us about this energy for Leo. Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter. Leo, if you're interested in getting a reading with me, uh, if you're outside of Canada, please go to Wizio, W-I-S-I-O dot com. If you're in Canada, please email me, Elsie at tenofcupstarot.ca. All of that stuff is in the description below, along with the link if I decide to extend this reading. All right, come on now. Oh, there we go. Take action. You are an action sign, are you not, Leo? Yeah, you are. You're fire. You're action. So we have take action, and we have there's something better, interesting. Okay, so take action because there is something better. Yeah, there we go. Okay, so let's go to some tarot. Let's clarify this just a little bit. Leo, I hope you are well. Happy Friday to you. If you worked your butt off all week, I hope you are relaxing and resting and have a, you know, a weekend planned of the things that you want to do. That's for me. I'm sitting here looking outside as I'm reading to you right now. It is the darkest of nights. And uh, yeah, we've got a, well, I'm going to say three quarters of a foot of snow out there. Over the last two or three days, we've had a pretty good dump. Yeah, it's like one day it's fall and then Nope, just kidding, it's winter. <laughs> yeah, we had had a blow in quite uh, quite hard though. Bit of a snowstorm. Okay, stop rambling. Just deal the cards, reader. <laughs> Alright, so what are we taking action for? Leo, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter. Taking action. What is Leo taking action towards? Taking action. Tell me about this. What is Leo taking in action? Okay. Oh, the chariot. Somebody's moving forward. So that's movement. If you've been feeling stuck, that's movement for sure. And then we have the death card. Wow. Yeah. Movement, transformation. Something's coming to an end. And uh, you need to take action, I think, to, to finish the ending, maybe. What do we got here? So we've got something is coming to an end. One more card. Oh. Something is coming very quickly. Something is going to be coming to an end. Something that you thought was going really well. Also for some of you, because we're looking at the chariot, some of you could be having car problems coming up. Your car could die, I'm just saying. <laughs> I've got the, uh, got the, um, uh, the chariot and the the death card. I feel like uh, somebody could have a vehicle that might be in disrepair and that vehicle's going to die. It's going to die in, at a time when something is brand new is starting, like you're going for a job interview or you've got to get to an appointment or you have somebody waiting that you're taking on a date, someone you're taking a gift to. I think it's going to die just then. I think the, the good thing is, is that there is the Wheel of Fortune. Unfortunate things are about to happen. So if it is, you know... A, that you're going to a job, you're probably going to get the job. If it is that you're going to meet someone on a date or something, I feel like that person's going to be really taken with you. Um, yeah, but I feel like, uh, first of all, something has to come to an end. So I think you're going to have trouble getting to some sort of a, um, some sort of a, oh, you're thinking about it. You're going to have trouble getting to some sort of a, um, social gathering or I don't know you're going somewhere to meet somebody and you're taking a gift with you that tells me it's like a wedding or a shower or maybe you're going on a, a date and you're taking flowers um, but I feel like what's going on here is um, that we have yeah something that's going to be turning in your favor soon because you thought it out really well and when you take action on it it is going to work so you've been thinking about this thing for a while there's something better tell us what is what is something better for Leo what is the thing that is better for Leo so there's something better than being left on the outside looking in. Leo, if somebody's got you um, on the outside, if somebody has put you out in the cold, there's something better for you. You don't need to stand for that. If this person's, you know, if if you've got people in your life, okay, I'm just going to give you a life lesson. 
<laughs> just because I just went through it. But the thing is this, is if people in your life are looking the other way when you're in strife and you're in trouble, whether it's mental health, physical health, or whether you're having health, health, sorry, uh, financial health problems, um, I think that if, if these people are looking the other way and they're not helping you, then you need to get rid of those people. Those are not your, your people. Those are not your people, Leo. If they're just going to leave you for dead, they're just going to leave you out in the cold. Yeah, those are not your people. So please think it over. The the uh, hermit tells me that you are thinking it over, that you're starting to kind of realize who your friends are. And uh, there is something better than being left out in the cold. Tell me more about this, please. Who's being left out in the cold and why? Somebody who spoke up is being left out in the cold. Maybe you spoke up. Yeah, and then you walked away. So, uh, oh, you walked away from love. Okay. So I feel like, yeah, that's what's happening here, that um, you ended up walking away because you knew that there was something better. I feel like somebody was kind of harsh with their words with you. And they were, yeah, I feel like when you were in a bad way, whether that was um, your mental health, physical health, financial health, whatever, you needed a hand and this person turned their back. This person put you on the outside looking in. And so I'm really glad if you did walk away, if this is you, but I feel like there is something better. And that's what that other card says. So take action because there is something better. And I feel like the something better um, is probably on its way because usually when spirit um, closes the door, or opens the window, or I don't know what the saying is. For me, it's like, I think you push out the door or the window, one of the two. One's open and one's closed. I'm not sure which ones they are. <laughs> Leo, let's find out what's going on here. Leo. More information for Leo, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter, please. Thank you. All right. We've got success. Good for you. Success. So that tells me you're going to come through this okay. That there is a situation that's happening right now that is really hard for you. I feel like the Wheel of Fortune is coming to turn things forward in your in your way, um, fortunately, as long as you take action. When you're presented with an opportunity, Leo, you must take action. You cannot just sit there and wonder what's going to go on. You, if, if you are someone who wants to get into a relationship, you can't just sit there and wonder who's going to break into your house and ask you to date them, right? Yeah. <laughs> All right. I'm just going to put one more card down here. Oh, that's one of my favorite cards. Look at the colors. Oh, that's my favorite. Oh, I love that giraffe. It's so beautiful thriving oh i just love it okay so um what i see here is we have leadership success and stillness now i think what it's saying here is um you can always do what you want to do leo because you are the leader now this means a few things to me the leaders true leaders, leaders who are functional leaders, leaders who actually lead people and people trust them to be led, people who want to do good for the people who are following them. I feel those are the leaders, not the person who is your president, not the person who's your prime minister, not that person, nobody in politics, nobody in politics gives a shit about you, to be honest, but the leadership that you carry people respect. I feel like when you do decide that you are transforming and leaving something, it's because you don't fit, you feel like the square peg in a round hole, right? And leaders are just that. We're different than everybody else. We don't always get along. We don't follow the crowd. We will never follow, uh, uh, you know, if you're the one who's following trends and all that kind of stuff, that's not a leader, y'all. That's a follower. So, you know, we're, we're, we're going to be the trendsetters. We're also going to be the people that say, when you come for us, we're going to say no. We're going to protect us and everybody else. Success and uh, stillness. So I feel like I feel like right now is kind of a boring and quiet time for you, Leo. I think that um, you are trying to get some, some perspective on the things that are going on in your life right now and why everything is so quiet and still. I feel like you think that nothing is going to happen, um, that any, nothing's coming for you because you feel the stillness. But this is the blessing. This is the place where you find your peace. So please take your peace. Take Take the piece here. The the swan on this um, on this card shows me that the next time you know the next relationship you have could be 
could be the one because swans, they mate for life. So it could be the quiet before the storm or the calm before the storm. I feel like you're going to be really successful in leadership. Whatever you do in this life, Leo, you are going to be the leader. All the world's a stage. You're the great leader. People trust you because you're kind. You have a good heart, um, just like the lion, right? You have a, a really good protective heart. Um, and then I see the voyage in thriving. I feel like it's going to be such a cool, crazy cool time for you because I feel like you're not only going to be going places that you've never been before. I also feel like you're going to be learning along the way that these voyages are going to allow you to thrive. Now, it doesn't have to be a voyage in a boat or a plane or a car or any of that, but it could be a voyage of thriving. It could be a voyage of learning who you are, how to take care of you. And when you love yourself with a depth of none other, that's when you're allowed to love with a depth of none other, right? Okay, so let's look at leadership. Tell me more about this leadership, please. We've got temperance in the reverse. So it's not happening right now. This leadership position is not coming to you right now. We have the devil. Okay, there's a bit of toxicity. There's some things you have to work out. I feel like it's either not feeling not feeling like you can do this all by yourself. I feel like the, the temperance in reverse is a little bit of doubt. And then we show the devil energy, which is also fear. So I think you have a little bit of fear and doubt about leadership, but I think you've had success in leadership before. So I think it's really just about getting on the bike. You know what I mean? Getting on the bike and learning how to, how to be balanced and all that stuff again. We have the Four of Swords. Yeah, you haven't had leadership in a while. You haven't done leadership in a while, but I feel like you're a good leader. So I feel like you're feeling a little bit nervous, like you might need to repair. You You feel like you're not worthy of the leadership position, but I, I, I really think that you are. I think that you're going to heal in order to be the best leader that you can be. Um, I think that there. this is the calm before the storm. That's what I think it is. Yep, here comes the love. There we go. Yep, there it is. So somebody's had their heart broken. We have, um, yeah, somebody who's had their heart broken here in love. We've got the uh, the Knight of Cups who's bringing in the love. We've got the Three of Swords and the Ace of Cups. Yeah. So I feel like there was love here. I feel like, um, I feel like... I feel like love is coming towards you, Leo, and I feel like the person who's coming towards you has already broken your heart once, so please be careful. This says it is the Ace of Cups. It says it's brand new love, so just be careful that this love isn't something that you've done before that has broken your heart. I mean, everybody deserves a second chance, but you need to figure out if that person's healed or not yet before you move forward, right? With them, tell us about the thriving voyage, please. Tell us about the thriving voyage, please, for Leo. One more. There we go. Okay. All right. So what about this thriving voyage here? So what we have is the King of Wands. The King of Wands and the Six of Cups. Interesting. Six of Cups is something that you either learned in childhood or someone you know from your past. It was past lives or it could be about children as well. Someone you've known since you were a child. Um, King of Wands is someone who takes action. So taking action um, towards someone who you've known since you were young, you, you could have grown up with this person. The Queen of Swords is someone who is very knowledgeable. She's super smart. Um, she is someone who is kind of guarded. She's more interested in giving you the right information than giving you kind information. So she's going to be super, um, super astute. She's a bit guarded. Yeah, she is someone who's been hurt before, so she's likely to speak up and let you know exactly what's on her mind, which isn't a bad thing. And I'm saying her because there's a woman on the card, but you guys know that we're reading Divine Masculine, Divine Feminine Energy. We have the Seven of Wands, which is a little bit of being defended, right? You feel like you're kind of defending yourself here. So I feel like what's going on here is the Queen of Swords is someone who is defending themselves against something that may have happened in the past and it may have caused a burden yeah i think you know this person leo and then we have uh the two of wands in the reverse so someone has decided to not only look out on the expanse to find out what they want to do but they're taking action so it says here take action what are you taking action on 
I think that um, you're trying to hide some information, some money. I think that you're cut off or not really talking to people about what you want to do. I think you need to share it more. I think you need, if you share it, you'll be able to drop your burdens here. I feel like you're really ready to move forward and to take some action. You've made the decision to go. The Four of Pentacles is not really being very um, forthright about something, keeping it under your hat, maybe having issue with being vulnerable. But there's your card, the strength. Yeah, along comes courage. You're having a hard time being vulnerable but along comes courage and then you get to your higher self the hierophant so i feel like there is somebody who's going on a voyage of thriving and you are thriving spiritually i feel like you are finding your voice you are learning how to protect yourself and take action at the same time to drop your burdens in this life because I feel like you've made a decision to move forward but not really share that with anybody. You're trying to quietly um, bring your courage to the forefront here and uh, I feel like what you are eventually going to do is get to the higher self. Yeah, I feel like that's what's going on here, that you eventually do come to the higher self and that's the voyage in which you will thrive. Very cool. I love that for you. Yeah, Leo, I do love that for you. Let's look at some energy oracle here. Sun, moon, rising, Venus, and Jupiter. It's a beautiful reading for Leo. Someone is learning their worth here. And I think that's really beautiful. Yeah. So yeah, someone is coming your way that is going to have feelings for you, emotions. But I feel like that person... Um, uh, they're going to tell you they're changed, but I don't think they have changed, Leo. So be careful. So here we have Blossoming Abundance. It's card number three. Blossoming Abundance. Card number three. Number three is the number of the Empress. So we have um, someone who could be in the Empress energy here. And then we have Contract, which is number six. Number six is the Lovers. Interesting. Blossoming Abundance. It could be some sort of a, a connection or a love connection or a love contract from you know, with someone who is the Empress. Empress is usually Taurus and Libra. It doesn't have to be. Empress is just someone who is very well balanced and is all the signs of all the queens, right? Queen of Swords, Queen of um, Cups, Queen of Pentacles, and Queen of Wands. What else do we have here? We have Appreciation. Again, number six, Appreciation of Love. And then we have card number 27, someone who's walking away. Yeah, I feel like you you are walking away from things that no longer serve you. Um, walking away, this person's taking one last look back before they, they just bust through the gates. I think this is you, Leo. You're waiting to bust through the gates. Yeah. I think you have something on your mind. I think you're feeling very creative. I think that you have something on your mind that is about to come to life. What do we have here? Face your shadow. So if you are having a, a hard time with anything right now um, that is making you feel as though you're not enough, you need to face that shadow. We have make necessary sacrifices and build on solid ground. So yeah, I feel like there is love. I feel like there is a journey of self coming up here, and a journey of self-love. So take action. There's something better. Whatever, Whoever walked away from you, don't worry about it. The stillness just is the stillness, you know, the calm before the storm. And the storm, I don't think, is something you have to worry about. I think it has to do with love and blossoming abundance and you moving forward and you making good decisions because you're enlightened. I think that when you make the necessary sacrifices and you work on your shadow, what does that mean though, really? It means all the things you don't like about you or the things that you poke a finger at someone and say, hey, you're rude and you cut me off. You might be the person who's rude and cut them off. Okay, so be aware of that. That's how you, um, that's how you heal. Yeah, working on the shadow self. All right, Leo, I'm going to go for now. Thank you for coming here and clicking here. If you are interested in getting a private reading with me, please look down in the description. And uh, I'm going to go for now. You all know that I love you, right? Thank you so much for clicking here. I hope you will subscribe. Thank you. I'm out. Bye-bye.